Hello friends, as I had promised in my previous video that I will be showing you how you can send MQTT packets through your Arduino board using the SIM render in module to the Adafruit IO dashboard. So uh, let us see how we can do that today. First thing is you need to watch my previous tutorials because without uh, watching these previous tutorials you will not be able to understand what I am doing in this video. So first thing is you need to understand how the MQTT packets are formed. So you need to watch this tutorial which, in which I show you how you can form the MQTT packets. And then you need to watch uh, the Adafruit IO tutorial wherein I show you how you can get started with the dashboard and uh, how you can send MQTT uh, messages to the server and how you can subscribe to the feeds. After you watch the Adafruit IO tutorial getting started video, then you can come to this video wherein I show you how you can write some simple code to send the MQTT packets via the GSM module SIM 900. Let us see how we can do this. So everything remains the same as I had explained in my previous video. The code, the functions, the connect packet, the subscribe packet and the publish packet, everything remain the same except that we change the URL of the server uh, wherein we change the URL from cloudmqtt.com to io.edafruit.com and we change the port to 1883 and we change the topic to the feed uh, which we have got from the Adafruit IO dashboard. So uh, uh, if you watch my getting started video on Adafruit IO tutorial you can see that how I generated this humidity field, switch feed and the temperature feed. So we can get the URL of these feeds uh, and we can uh, paste that in this code here. So your feeds become your topics. And the protocol name I have changed from MQISDP to MQTT. The username for the Adafruit IO dashboard MQTT connect packet is the username shown in the URL here. And the username which is supposed to be used in the MQTT connect packet for Adafruit IO server is Ravi Y Pujar for my case because I had registered using that username. And the password is the AIO key itself. And everything else remains the same. So now let us see how we, this code works. Basically what I am doing is I am just creating a TCP connection from the SIM 900 module to the Adafruit IO server. And after that I am sending the connect packet and waiting for some time and then I am sending the publish packet every 5 seconds. And I am sending a value which is incremented every 5 seconds in the counter variable. So now let us see how this works. I will program the code and I will also Restart the module. It's better to remove. It's better to remove the uh, RX and TX lines connected to the GSM module because they will interfere with the programming process of the Arduino. Okay, now you can connect it back, and we'll see the data on the serial port monitor. Okay, the data is coming to the server now. As you can see, the variable is getting incremented every 5 seconds and the data is appearing on the field here. Okay. So this is how we can send the MQTT published packet to the Adafruit IO dashboard. If you like this video, hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more such content. Thank you for watching.